Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I'll be making some farmhouse decor. I use these animal cutouts from Dollar Tree. Two packs of large stir sticks, those I got from Lowe's. White acrylic paint, black chalk paint, huck glue. I use some of these stir sticks, I actually use three of them, and some twine. First thing I did was remove the hangers from the animal cutouts and then the tags. So for the animals, I made sure that they were all facing the same direction and then painted them all with the black chalk paint. I dried them in between and did two coats. Next, I took the large star sticks and I used both packages, so I used all six. I lined them up so the measurements were facing upward and just alternated the indent on them. And then I took these star sticks that I got from Amazon. They come in packs of 100, so I used them a lot. I grabbed three of them and I just held them against all six and marked them off and then cut them out with Fisker shears. So I just made sure that they all fit across. I took my square and lined it up just to make sure it was straight. So I have, after I had it all lined up, I hot glued two of the star sticks down. I did one end and then the middle and then the last one I left off just because I'll be painting the whole thing. And that last one will have a hanger glued underneath it. So I didn't want the hanger to get in my way when I was painting. So I just did the two for now. And then flipped it over and started with the black chalk paint. I just did one coat of the black chalk paint and I covered the entire thing. I had taken the other stir stick and painted that separately and flipped it over to the unfinished side and hot glued twine to either end of it. And then next I hot glued the entire unfinished part as well and then hot glued that to the other end of the stir stick sign. And then next I flipped it over to the front side and painted one coat of the white acrylic paint. So you'll, I did the one coat so you'll still be able to see some of the black through. I did the front and the sides. Once that was dry, I took my little animal cutouts and stack them up. Just tried to get them as centered as possible and hot glued each of them into place. I ended up thinking it needed something a little extra, so I decided to make these little buffalo check bows and just added one to each of the little animals. And that is it. 
here it is all finished. It turned out so stinking cute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.